I think it did kind of work with Toka being the one worse off. The whole bug thing did suggest nicely that he was maybe the more antisocial of the two. I do have to wonder why, like, his parents didn't call Alf and ask, Where is our son? Would the teacher maybe have taken some action against the party when he found out that these kids, who don't look to be 15, were all going to an unsupervised party with alcohol? Since when is Fritz a professional DJ? Is it just me, or was everybody who could both drinking and driving product placement? What exactly was Tilda expecting to gain from going to the party? I did like that they had some nice moments like, you know, the paint thing and maybe also the dance bit. And I thought that Alf and his little sister Emma, I think her name was, had some nice sweet moments like, you know, the, the toast with, do you know how hard it is to toast? And, you know, her saying, I like you Tilda, I like you too Emma. <clears throat> was there any significance to him not wanting to do the dishes? You know, he tries to get Emma to do it. Am I way over -analyzed? Did I just answer my own question? Do I know what rhetorical means? Did Tolka ever leave the house without a screwdriver? How long was that bottle of processed bug juice gonna last? Why was Emma reading a manga comic book with heads thrust upon spikes? I don't remember if it was Tolka's or Alf stuff, but I assume that they were selling it, not giving it to charity, because I've never seen anybody walk away from a charity foundation with that bundle of money. By the way, does that mean that it actually cost that much for them to have that stuff? Where did their parents get that kind of dough? Was Tolka returning empty bottles for Stuart Stardust? Anyway, those were my thoughts on Mi Besta Fiena, or My Best Enemy, or whatever the international audiences are going to know it as. I certainly hope that they do get to know it. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.